Welcome to Research That Matters on today's Smart Chiropractor Show. Research That Matters is our couple minutes where we dive into what our smart chiropractors are doing to teach and invite their communities to attract more new patients into their practice, to improve their retention, to get some reactivations, a nice flywheel of them going on on the back end of the practice and filling those holes in the bucket. How we do that is by consistently putting out fantastic content. We think in terms of an annual calendar, monthly campaigns, weekly topics, and daily posts. And our monthly campaign for all our Smart Chiropractor members this month is all around headaches. And our weekly topic associated with that is or are the link between stress and headaches. This is a big, big topic. Why did we choose headaches? Well, it's one of the top three reasons people initially come into chiropractic practices. It is also one of those items that is quite often searched in and around your community. Right now, people are probably searching for solutions to headaches. And quite frankly, they should 99.9% of the time probably not be reaching for a bottle of medication. Well, how are they going to know to choose you? by the fantastic content that you put out, by teaching and inviting consistently. That's what we do on behalf of all our Smart Chiropractor members, members that get the best results, take what we give them, amplify it through their own voice. That is the combination that works best. But let's talk a little bit about the link between stress and headaches. For our Smart Chiropractors, we put this into consumer talk. I like to take a few minutes each and every week and dive more into the physician level of what we discuss and what we're putting out there. So we know about 20% of individuals uh, at any given time struggle with tension headaches. We also know tension headaches predominantly are cervicogenic in nature. Now, what are some of the triggers for that? We can look towards stress. So whether that's positional, biomechanical, or gravitational stress, how we're sitting at our desk, that matters awkward positions over a long period of time. I always say, you, you depending upon who you are, you can always get away with something for you know, days, weeks, months, or years, but eventually you're gonna pay the piper. So biomechanics do matter. We know that there is cervicogenic stress that can occur. We also know that there is psychological stress that can occur. When you are super stressed out, it leads to an increased likelihood of having a headache. We have muscle tension. We It contributes to how we move our body and how we position our body is tied into our psychology. So understanding that, appreciating that, getting that message out there, super, super important. And of course, there is always a nutritional or an inflammation component to this as well. What are we putting in our body? Are we living in chronic inflammatory state? Are we doing everything we can to decrease chronic inflammation or acute inflammation for that matter? These are important factors that many people don't think of. They just think, I have a headache. <laughs> I guess I might as well you know, reach for that Advil or that Aleve in ironically or not ironically, depending upon how you look at it, one of the greatest challenges with all medications taken for headaches are refractory headaches, as we discussed last week. So we can make a huge impact on this. And this is not only about relieving pain. This is also about performance, because don't forget, we've had studies come out that showcase people receiving spinal adjustments and or chiropractic care, hallmark chiropractic care, they have decreased severity, intensity, and frequency of headaches. That has been peer-reviewed. And we also know that once they get to that point, the consistency of care from that point forward helps keep them in that same position because quite often we know people do not dramatically change their habits overnight. Most people don't change their jobs as a result of what's going on. Should they or shouldn't they is a question for a different day, but most don't. So they go back to the same habits. If they go back to the same habits, they're going to come back with the same issue. So this is where, in my opinion, we have that continuity of care. Tying back to our first segment, whether that's a membership offering, whether that's maintenance care, however you want to define that in your practice, for individuals that struggle and initially come in with headaches, ensuring that their biomechanics are as sound as possible, ensuring that they are motivated and inspired to get out there, move their body, exercise, ensuring that they have the information necessary for what they put into their body as the good stuff and not the bad stuff. And many people don't know the difference. We can see that all the time. What you know as a chiropractor is so far and above because you've spent years, but we get this, uh, what would you say, an echo chamber where we, we think everybody must know this stuff and it's just not the case. So you don't need to go super high level. You can stay with the basics, but helping people know about what's pro-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory in their diet, critical imp critically important. And then of course, while we are not psychiatrists or psychologists, helping people understand that the mental stress that they encounter each and every day may be contributing to those headaches that come on at two in the afternoon each and every day that they're in the office is an important eye-opener. 
even if you're not directly providing the care in that instance, it's very important that you open their eyes so that they can get the correct care. And regardless of whether it is generated, their headaches are generated by biomechanics, whether they're generated by nutritional issues, inflammatory issues, or whether they're generated by mental stress, in my opinion, we as chiropractors can make a huge impact, a huge benefit for those people. But if they don't know any of this, how are they supposed to pick up the phone and call you? So that is why we have all of our automated campaigns going on. We have social, we have emails going out so that people that whether they're in your practice for other issues know that this is something that's a core thing that you can take care of, whether somebody has been in your practice in the past that wants to be proactive with their care in the future, they know they can give a call. And certainly anybody in your community who's never had exposure to chiropractic, you are planting your flag and saying, we are a place that can help in a conservative way, in a non-pharmacological way, in a safe and effective way. I don't think there's anything more important we can do as chiropractors. Jason? Uh, I completely agree. I, I'll just summarize a couple of highlights that I got from what you said that I agree on. I want to make sure everybody you know, hits on. There's no lack of people with headaches in your community. I assure you that. There's no lack of people who are experiencing stress in your community. I assure you that too. But some of you still need more new patients. Now, that, that's the part that doesn't make any sense. How could there be so many people with stress, so many people with headaches, and not enough people to fill up your practice to be as busy as you want to be? That equation doesn't add up. The reason that occurs can only be for one simple reason. All those people with stress and headaches don't know that you are a potential solution. Why? The world has been brainwashed that... Symptoms are normal when you have them, take a drug, they go away, and that's how this insanity is supposed to continue. And because they do so much marketing, they meaning the pharmaceutical industry and doctors who are getting paid behind them to recommend these things, that's the, the way of the world right now. But of course, we know that's insanity. Literally, that's crazy. But if we don't speak up, if you don't speak up in your community, how are people ever going to know any different? It's obvious to most all of us that stress could and often causes headaches. It's not obvious to most people in your community, otherwise they'd be in your office already. So that's the benefit of the teach and invite consistently philosophy. And that's the benefit of the annual calendar, monthly campaigns, weekly topics, and daily posts is so that it is super easy for you to share this information with those people in your community. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, email, all of it. You've got to stay consistent teaching people the basics, not the advanced stuff. They don't even, they can't understand the advanced stuff until they understand the basics. And it sounds so ridiculous to say over and over again, but when people come in and they say, I've got X, Y, Z headaches, how long have they been going on? For a while, what have you been doing about them? I've been living on X, Y, Z med. And you ask the obvious ridiculous question, do you think your headaches are caused by a lack of medication in your body? Most pause and never thought of it that way before, but obviously that's what they're thinking. So it's a great opportunity for you to go, hey, there's a better way. And it's over here in our office. How do you know? Read this, watch this, attend my upcoming workshop, read my newsletters, and staying consistent with your teaching and inviting positions you in your community as an authority, as an expert, and as somebody who cares about people, not somebody who's desperate to need as many new patients as they can get as soon as possible for whatever reason that they're coming in for, especially if you've got 30 party reimbursement. So <clears throat> doctor means teacher. This is an opportunity for you to teach something that is extremely common with lots of people in your community. Use the tools if you wanna make it easy, do it on your own if you wanna do it your way, that's fine either way. Get it done. Make sure it happens. Great topic. And thanks for bringing it up, Jeff. My pleasure. And if you are listening and watching and love to learn more about how we help hundreds of chiropractors around the world reach millions of people, you can head over to thesmartchiropractor.com. Again, that is thesmartchiropractor.com. We'll be back next week talking about our next weekly topic within this monthly campaign. It is a good one. And if you'd love to get started again, that is thesmartchiropractor.com. 
Thank you so much for watching this video on The Smart Chiropractor. To not miss a single thing that's clinically oriented, marketing oriented, or more, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel today.